Hi there. Welcome to Apple World. He took their distribution and utilized it. You know what I mean? He's got it. He utilized it and made millions off of it. That assisted him with being a tycoon. And afterward, he was going to give them back with nothing in the tank. All of Jean Dale should know Diddy's most closely guarded secrets since he continues to discuss him as cool as a cucumber. Furthermore, the most recent sensation he dropped concerns Diddy's new choice to return to distributing freedoms to terrible kid craftsmen. So Diddy overemphasized this, and it presented him with a ton of good exposure in front of the arrival of his new collection. Nonetheless, as indicated by Jean, this is only a PR stunt since those distributing freedoms are worthless. Us. John made sense of the fact that Diddy just returned the freedom since he needed to repair his standing in front of his new VMA appearance, where he got the worldwide symbol grant. However, that is not all. Jean additionally shot Diddy for leaving awful kids specialists broke, and he called attention to the fact that most craftsmen who were on Diddy's mark either passed on before they could spend their cash or were left with nothing after Diddy unloaded them. It wasn't huge on the grounds that he wouldn't be able to burn through any of his cash. Craig Mack lost his name. Who are we? In any case, when Diddy as of late showed up on the morning meal club, he guaranteed he settled on the choice to give craftsmen their distributing freedoms out of affection. It was the best thing to do. Definitely, you understand what I'm talking about. It was. It was the best thing to do. Also, this is the recurrence that I'm in. It's the affection recurrence. However, it seems that fans aren't getting involved with Diddy's entire love recurrence and they're favoring Gene arrangement. So what else did Gene uncover about Diddy's relationship with the terrible kid specialists? Did he truly screw his craftsmen out of their cash and leave them starving? How about we separate them? Why? You simply didn't give us the cash for itself and continued utilizing it like he was utilizing it in light of the fact that no one needs it anymore. He did as well. I just got back in the saddle of the music scene with the arrival of his new collection, the Adoration Collection off the Matrix. Also, he was honored with the Worldwide Symbol Grant at the Vemas recently. I appreciate you all approaching and simply, in any event, giving me my blossoms and commending me. Definitely. Did he likewise played out a variety of the best terrible kid hits at the Vemas? Notwithstanding, many fans thought it was odd how none of the terrible kid specialists needed to perform with him. In spite of the way that Diddy as of late declared, he was giving them back their distributing freedoms. So on the off chance that you missed Diddy's huge declaration on September 4, assortment let the cat out of the bag that Diddy is offering back, distributing privileges to all terrible kid specialists, including Big Deal Smalls, Confidence Evens, Mace, and some more. Diddy source let assortment know that Diddy got numerous extravagant proposals over the course of the years for the freedoms to the awful kid distributing inventory, but rather he liberally decided to reassign the privileges to the specialists. Precious considers it essential for a more extensive objective of advancing financial strength for dark craftsmen and culture. The source is added. And keeping in mind that those less acquainted with terrible kid history acclaimed Diddy for this move. Numerous others, including a portion of the terrible kid specialists themselves, hammer Diddy and say it's excessively late to do this now, since those distributing freedoms have lost all their worth. One of the specialists who got down on Diddy was Imprint Curry, most popular for the 2001 single awful kid for life that he did with Diddy and the late rapper Dark Ransack. Coincidentally, Dark Loot, the craftsman who showed up on various terrible kid hit melodies during the 90s, passed on in 2021 in the wake of being destitute for a really long time. I've been managing this person for five years at this point. The four strokes I don't have any idea what to tell you, man. This is insane. It's hard, man. You understand what I'm talking about? I ain't got no house to reside in. So after Diddy declared he was giving awful kid specialists their distribution privileges, Imprint Curry went live on Instagram and impacted Diddy saying that assuming he truly thought often about the craftsmen, he would have given them their freedoms back when they were still worth something. Puff Daddy gave the distribution pack to Wapti. What's it worth? What was it worth a decade prior? A long time ago? Also, what's it worth at this point? What did he give you back? That is discourteous. I told him. How about you simply keep it and pay me? I don't need the distribution. I need the cash. Come on. 
You all figure he's doing something worth being thankful for on the grounds that he offers back some distribution? Come on, man. It's worthless. Mark said his distributing freedoms are presently worth something like $3 to $400 per year on the grounds that nobody's getting these melodies any longer and playing them on the radio or involving them in plugs and motion pictures. Coincidentally, this isn't whenever Imprint first freely gets down on Diddy. Back in 2009, he delivered a book, Playing With Fire, and uncovered a lot more obscure insights regarding Diddy and Terrible Kid Records. The book depicts how Diddy propelled himself onto his craftsman's tracks so he could charge them for unique visitor appearances, and the specialists would just learn about it once they accepted their checks. As per Imprint's book, Diddy would put his name on melodies he neither composed nor created and would try and demand his extravagant vehicles being highlighted in craftsmen's music recordings so he could deduct costly rental expenses from their financial plans and guarantee tax reductions for his vehicles business use. Mark likewise guaranteed that he was so poor during his experience with Awful Kid that he needed to sell his behind-the-scenes passes for shows. And afterward, towards the end of his awful childhood, he was frantic to the point that he thought about offering medications to accommodate his loved ones. Mark additionally lost his home to abandonment and was destitute at one point, unfit to bear the cost of healthcare coverage for himself, his significant other, or his child. We likewise can't disregard Big Deal since Diddy made such nothing to joke about out of reassigning Big Deal's distributing privileges to his domain while helpfully neglecting to specify that Big Deal's little girl, Tiana, needed to offer Big Deal shirts to get by in school. And afterward, there's Big Deal's ex, Confidence Evans, who recently uncovered she was dealt with horrendously during her experience on Terrible Kid. In a meeting with the New York Post, Confidence said Diddy constrained her to tan each and every other day since he thought she was excessively pale. Puffy used to walk me to the tanning salon each and every other day since I was pale, and he needed to tan me up, Confidence said. Furthermore, he let me know that he maintained that I should leave the house and look charming constantly. And afterward, only months after Big Deal passed on, Diddy compelled confidence to perform. I'll be missing you. Notwithstanding the way that she was all the while lamenting her significant other when he maintained that I should sing, I'll be missing you at the 1,997 MTV grants with Sting, I would have rather not done anything, confidence said. I was all the while lamenting, however, he got me on the telephone and was like, Tune in. You ain't gonna make my thing up. I thought my cry would work, yet he convinced me to make it happen. So is Diddy's choice to offer back distributing privileges to Big Deal, Confidence, and others. Simply a PR move while as per Diddy's previous Guardian, gene arrangement, that is precisely what it is. What's more, it's not whenever Diddy first figured out how to trick people in general with a painstakingly organized showcasing move. Gene, as of late, showed up on the craft of discourse and said that Diddy realized the distributing freedoms were worth barely anything now since he previously extracted all the worth he could from them. The manner in which I see it, it resembles you giving me your vehicle with a full tank of gas, and I take it back to you on void. You understand what I'm talking about? He took their distribution and utilized it. You know, he has. It all made sense to him. He utilized it and made millions off of it. That assisted him in being a very rich person. And afterward he was gone. Give them back with nothing in the tank. Gene likewise made sense of the fact that Diddy hasn't been doing so well of late, as he guarantees Liquor Monster Diageo has as of late, finished their 15 drawn-out organizations with a large number of Diddy sued them, guaranteeing they under-advanced his Delion Tequila. Additionally, before the arrival of his new collection, Diddy had no genuine hits for a really long time. And afterward, what's more, his standing has endured different shots coming from reports about his problematic gatherings with young fellows and viral hypotheses about his supposed association with the passings of various individuals. So as indicated by Gene, this entire circumstance with distributing freedoms was only a PR continue on Diddy's part to attempt to make himself seem to be the hero in front of his rebound. He ain't had no hit records or nothing. You get it? So he's enduring this large number of shots. He got to attempt to think back in public while he's emerging with a collection. Furthermore, he's getting a prize. Furthermore, these are the Vemas. He should get a lifetime, an honor for the Vemas of some sort. So he has to look great going into it since, in the public's eye, he doesn't look that great, brother. 
you know, everyone is discussing him. The eyes are discussing his digital broadcasts. Furthermore, it's not discussing him in a positive way. For fans, the greater part of them are agreeing with Gene and saying they saw directly through Diddy's PR plan. He's not losing anything in this arrangement, one fan said. He's now gathered millions in revenue from his specialist's cash. Presently, he's attempting to trick individuals by involving this as a good thought.